you're like me, you're always looking for cool new ways to teach 3D printing. Also, if you're like me, you've always wanted to turn yourself into an action figure. This is a cool way to do both. This workshop uses Autodesk 123D Catch for scanning, Autodesk Mix Mixer for file formats, and Fusion 360. 123D Catch is a fun, free app for your iPhone or iPod that allows you to create a 3D scan um, using the guides shown in the app of any object. Once that scan is complete, it's uploaded to the website. You can then download it and manipulate it using your favorite uh, software. We're going to go ahead and use Autodesk Mesh Mixer to do this today. Mesh Mixer is a free program that allows for detailed manipulation of objects, particularly scanned data and other files. There's a lot to it. It's got a ton of functionality. We're going to concentrate on the select sculpt and 3D printing aspects today. Now that we've got our scan data, we're going to pull it into Mesh Mixer, and you'll see that we actually need to clean it up a bit. We need to show the software what we want to actually manipulate. So we use the Select tool to designate the central figure and get rid of the room in the background. The next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to clean up our figure using the Sculpt brushes. There are a variety of different brushes that can do anything. This is a cool chance to add horns, maybe grow a crown, which you could always decide later too but really just make the figure look much nicer. Uh, at the end, you want to turn it into a solid body and you should end up with something that looks a lot like this. Next up, we'll look at modeling the accessories using Fusion 360. If you haven't used it before, Fusion 360 is a pretty awesome computer-aided drawing tool that's got a low barrier to entry so anybody can use it. Uh, this is the scope section here, which allows you to just kind of push and pull on things as if they're clay. Does all the traditional parametric modeling. Uh, you can do drawings, um, dimensioning, everything that you need. Uh, motion studies are fantastic for showing how things interact after you finish making them. The collaboration section allows multiple people to work together on the same project in different locations at different times. Really, you know, smooth work smooths out the workflow tremendously. The fabrication section includes components for both 3D printing and computer-aided manufacturing, all the modern tool sets. We're going to be focusing on the 3D printing functionality today, along with the general model. So we're going to start in Fusion 360 by importing our mesh file. You can do this by the blue upload button in the data panel, shown here on the left. And once that's uploaded, we're going to go ahead and um, make the sword and shield accessories shown here. We're going to start making the shield by importing the image and sizing it to what we want. We're then going to do this sketch to create all the different features in the background. You don't necessarily have to do this, but it really shows the power of the program. Once we have the sketch in place, we can go ahead and extrude it into a three-dimensional object. Um, and this is kind of what the end result would be. We now have to put that on the body so we can move it into position. And I, I need straps. It needs to attach to me somehow. So. Next, I go into the sculpt section and I create these straps and I can kind of just move them into position using the grab handles shown here until I've got kind of an object that I like. The next thing I need to do is create the sword and I'm going to do that through basically the same process as I did the shield. There's a ton of online training resources available for Fusion 360 and I would suggest uh, starting there. This really isn't as complicated as it looks once you kind of get going. The final step is to be able to slot the sword in with the shield. So I've got two accessories that have combined into one, and I do that here through the sculpt section. So this is my action figure with two different accessories, and I'm going to go ahead and throw it into the render environment and make it look cool so I can share the image. And the last thing I need to do is go ahead and 3D print it. I did this in MakerBot because that's what most schools are using these days. Uh, Scaling is important. The uh, smaller the object, the faster it prints. So if you're trying to do a lot of these, getting them down to the right scale is crucial. This is a really fun exercise for 3D printers of any experience level, whether it's your first print or your 100th print. At the end of it, you end up with something that you can show to your friends, family, and loved ones that you'll enjoy for a long time to come. Hope you enjoyed doing this as much as I enjoyed making for you.